looks like a question mark. Yeah, it's a question mark with an exclamation point. But it, it looks cool. Thanks. It's pretty important to me. Because you like grammar. Well, yeah, but it's more than a reference to English. It's like... It's like two things. It's like an exclamation point. It's excitement. It's happiness and fear and anger. But it's also a question mark. It's like asking and wanting to know more. And then terror bang is its own emotion. It's like its own action. It's not knowing. And it's being excited about not knowing. It's about being electric and curious at the same time. It's anxiety. It's worry. Anxiety? That doesn't sound too nice. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's terrible. So I put it on my body because I'm always feeling it anyway. So why not try to remind myself of all the good things it can be? That's cool. And it looks cool, too. So. You can touch it. Okay. It's just skin. Yeah. What? 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 <laughs> what? what are you thinking about? Just that you're, like, so smart and that's cool. It's just a tattoo. Like I can't like build a car. It's just a van. Yeah, but it's a good van. It's like it's more than a van. It's a real banger. An Intero banger. You should call it the Intero banger, dude. That's exactly. Oh it. my god, you got to christen it. How do we do that? We'll make a toast. I don't have any wine. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go pack another bowl. Glad you're back. Uh -huh. How much are you gonna smoke? I could do like another full one, but do you have to drive? Uh, we I, I we can stay in the car tonight and drive back in the morning. I don't have to be back tonight. Okay, me neither. I'm gonna pack a full one. <laughs> Being terabanger. <laughs> I like it. I've never named a car before. Really? Oh, I name everything. Really? <laughs> like a toothbrush? Did you name your toothbrush? No, okay, maybe not everything, but like stuff with a personality, you know? Like like my bong is Malachite because it looks like the Malachite stone. Or my fridge at home is Bev because she actually takes care of me. <laughs> and Bev is like the name of a woman who would probably feed you. And Ho Hoover's named after the head of the FBI because he's smart, but he's also like mysterious and like probably gay. Um, and he eats like a vacuum. Yes, you, you're a gay dog. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it just it never occurred to me before. Well, we have to name it the Interrobanger even more now, because you made this thing, and we can paint it. And, and Danny and Danny can decide it. She's, like, really good. Oh, my God, she could, she could paint the words the Interrobanger on the side, and, like, a big Interrobang. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, don't, don't spill the water. Yeah, it's kind of baptismal. Okay, how do we do this? Okay, so we gotta, like, imbibe the van with the name using the smoke. Okay, uh, make a speech. Is it cool if I invoke a god? I was thinking maybe trivia. There's a god of trivia. Yeah, she's like in charge of like mysteries and ghosts and stuff. It feels apt. <laughs> uh, yes, that is apt for the entire bit. Uh-huh, yeah, that's what I thought. Go for it. Okay, so. Oh, god of trivia, goddess of ghosts and crossroads, <laughs> take this dank weed as an offering as we dedicate this van to you. May the entire banger always take us take the right turn at the crossroads, not like only turning right, but like take the one that's right for the journey. May it protect us from ghosts, but also I'd like to see some ghosts. But don't, but don't haunt the van. Yeah, don't haunt it. Just like, just use your magic to make it more interesting. So we always feel like, uh, like we're doing something cool and mysterious. So I dub the, the Intero Banger. That was beautiful. Yeah. Wait, before we do this last part, say some words about, like, the name and, like, the hopes for the man. Uh, um, I... Miss Trivia, <laughs> please make this the most awesome van in the world, and don't make us stay in Foggy Bluffs and let us go on adventures and <laughs> be a van that can carry friends and... 
good times and like <laughs> prevent us from getting a flat tire in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And just like take us somewhere where we can be as cool as the van will be. Mm -hmm. I dub thee the Antara Banger. The Antara Banger. Hey, dude, is everything okay? Yeah. Okay, bear with me. So, I'm not sure if this makes sense, but do you ever feel like there's something that you're supposed to remember, and it changed everything, but you can't remember what it was, and it was something big and dark, but you hope it's just a passing thought, like an intrusive thought, not a memory. You hope that it's something that you would want to remember, but, but what if you find out, and then you have to face something really terrible, and maybe the terrible thing is that someone else knows. Like, do you ever feel like that? Uh, um, I don't think I've ever felt like that. Oh. Is this about being abducted? It's like, sometimes I don't actually really know what happened. I just, like, what if it's not? Aliens. No, I'm pretty sure it was. I mean, that's the one thing that makes sense. I have the proof, even if other people don't believe it. I mean, you've never said anything different. But everyone else thinks it was like... Like a kidnapping? Like, what if it was someone I knew? Do you think it could have been? I guess it could have been. I mean, everyone thinks it was Mr. Jenkins. I don't even remember seeing him that night. What What do you remember? I remember the things he told me. Like about how big the universe was, and how much there is that I don't know, and how much I'll never be able to know. It's not like, it's not all specific, they're mostly just this overwhelming blanket of like, not goodness. Uncanny. <laughs> I'm sorry. You didn't do anything. Yeah, but I wish it hadn't happened to you. Me too. But even wishing it away scares me. I wouldn't exist. I'm glad you exist. Everyone says I made it all up. Like aliens aren't real. It was that man. It was Mr. Jenkins. But I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want it to be him. He's just a man, and now he's dead. And I don't know if it was him. If it was him, why do I remember the alien so well? Why did he tell me a different name? told you a name? No, I wasn't supposed to tell you that. You're not supposed to. No, I don't, I don't, um, I don't think it was his real name. I mean, he, he, he would have had an alien name, but it sounded like a human name. Can we just talk about something else? Can we change the subject? A couple days ago, when we were talking about what kind of cryptids we would be. I said I wanted to be a ghost. But, but I actually think that I'm a swamp monster. Like a big, green, dripping amphibian. And like, I'm swimming, and it's fine, because I can breathe underwater, but I really also want to live on land. And like, that part of me is like scary and unappealing. And, and not to me, but like people would, people would be scared. But I wanna just go to school and live a normal life. <laughs> but everyone's freaked out because of my gills. I really like swamp monsters. <laughs> I'm glad. Thank you for spending the, the last night of summer vacation with me. I'm sorry, I'm crazy. You're not crazy. <laughs>